Hi everyone, Smart recently launched this Pocket Wi-Fi promo where you can get an LTE Pocket Wi-Fi for just 1995. These normally sell for three or four thousand minimum, so a very good price. And I thought this is a perfect time to compare LTE against 4G. Now they say this is 4G, but it's just absolute nonsense because this one used to be sold as a 3G modem because it's HSPA. If you look at their site now, they sell it as 4G pocket Wi-Fi because someone in marketing realized, oh, if we put 4G on the packaging, everyone will think this is LTE, they'll buy it, and they probably won't even realize. And if they do realize, we'll just fob them off and say, well, it doesn't say LTE on here. And you might just say, well, do you have any proof of that? Well, apart from the fact that they've been calling this 3G for so many years until recently they started calling it 4G, if you look at their own website, see, smart.com.ph, scroll down, what is LTE? It's 4G. What is 3G? HSPA+. Plus. So even they know the truth. This is 4G LTE and this HSPA plus is 3G. But the advertising is 4G because, you know, honestly, they're just trying to trick people. And to be fair, it's not just smart. It's also globe. They do the same thing. They've started calling this 4G, even though it's not 4G. And even though companies like smart recognize that it's not 4G. But anyway, I'm not here to moan about that. I'm here to compare LTE against 3G. Now I have to admit I already tried this and I was absolutely amazed. The speed is incredible. Out to the box you get free 350 meg per month for three months. Now the thing is as cool as LTE is because the speed is just incredible the problem is data caps. Yes, you can download very fast or upload very fast, but if you've got a data cap, that just means you're going to run through it quicker. Like, you could run through the 350 meg data cap on this literally within around two minutes um, because I was downloading at like over three megabytes per second. So you could literally blow through that 350 meg that's meant to last you a month in a couple of minutes. So, it's great having the extra speed, but I don't know how usable it is when you've got these low data caps. Now, of course, that's just a freebie. You can buy a prepaid plan to go with this, but the maximum I've seen is an 800 meg a day limit. So even still, you're going to blow through it so quickly that you have to wonder, is it even worth having that extra speed? But let's do some tests anyway, because it is quite impressive. Now, I get a much stronger smart signal here in my bedroom, so I'm going to do the testing from here. And I'm going to start with this 3G modem. You can see that it's switching between HSPA and HSPA+. Plus. So let's open speed test and see what kind of speeds we can get. So let's begin test. We've got a ping time of 45 milliseconds, and it looks like we're averaging around 7 Mbps. So a pretty good speed, and pretty impressive considering it's just 3G. And let's see what our upload is. Okay, it looks like we're only getting around 1 Mbps or less. Now, the upload really fluctuates. Sometimes I get up to around 2 Mbps, sometimes 1. It's very unreliable. So, if you were a live streamer or uploading big files to YouTube or something like that, this probably wouldn't be that useful for you. But for the download, it's pretty reasonable. Let's try the LTE modem. So, I'm now connected to the LTE modem. Let's do our test again. So it is a different server, but we're getting a ping time of 37 milliseconds. And look at that download, 23 Mbps. That is insane. No wonder people are going so crazy for LTE. The speeds you can get are absolutely insane. Let's see what we get on our upload. Okay, 3 Mbps, 4, keep climbing, come on, 5, or oh, nearly. I have seen the upload fluctuate a lot here as well, so the upload really does fluctuate, but still, nearly 5 Mbps upload. That is freaking awesome. Now, unless you've got fiber, which only a small number of people do, you're never really going to attain these speeds because DSL is so like limited here at the moment. So these speeds are absolutely incredible. But I know what you're thinking. Speedtest.net is not accurate because you're only testing a local server. How about when you start hitting up servers in the US, in Europe, when you start doing torrents things like that that's when you really start to see the true speed so let's do some of that testing with this LTE modem so I've now connected a laptop to the smart LTE modem and I've added a torrent to transmission it's a Ubuntu torrent so it's completely legal it's not like a movie or anything like that let's see what kind of speed we can get so it looks like it's starting to connect to peers let me bring the camera closer so you can see easier okay so we're hitting 500 kb a sec 
950 KB a sec, one, one and a half megabyte, two megabyte a sec. Look at that speed, that is incredible. <laughs> it's so impressive. Of course, I've already downloaded 30 meg, um, so I'm gonna blow through my 350 meg cap so quickly. Uh, in fact, I probably already have because I've been testing this all day. So yeah, that immediately throws up one of the problems with LTE is that you're gonna blow through your data cap very quickly. Let me re-subscribe to a data plan. So I checked my SmartBro dashboard and I had consumed all the data. Now the problem is SmartBro FlexiTime only gives you 3G speeds. It won't give you LTE. Undisurf has already been ended, so you can't claim that anymore. For the big bytes, it's even worse because they're just giving you a little bit of data that you can use over a longer period. So it really only leaves me with the option of Surf Max, but that has an 800 meg a day limit. So what's the point in having LTE if you're so limited on the data, right? It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'll go for this one because I read about some tricks that you can do where you can actually bypass that 800 meg limit. So we'll try that out as well. In fact, let's just go for this one. 5 peso for 15 minutes because it doesn't say anything about data cap and it doesn't say it's 3G only. So let's try this one out and see how much we can download in that 15 minutes. Now I just wasted a minute because I had to reboot my modem because although I subscribed to that 15 minute package, it didn't give me access until I restarted my modem for some reason. Anyway, uh, Torrent still hasn't started for some reason but normal browsing is working. So we're downloading it around three megabytes per second. That's crazy fast. It estimates it's gonna download 1.1 gig in around seven minutes. So let's see how this thing goes. So there's just a couple minutes left and it's still around 3.3, even as high as 3.7 megabytes per second. So it really is very fast. Not the most cost effective, but if you needed to download some big files very quickly, this is the way to do it. So the download is about to finish and I have to say that's the fastest way I've ever downloaded a file in the Philippines. Okay, so I already consumed the 15 minutes and I just saw this one here, all night bundle from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. It's only 20 peso and this one doesn't say it has any data cap and it doesn't say it's limited to 3G. Now we're at 1.39 a.m. so I can subscribe to this. Now let's try download a file over HTTP through the web browser, a one gig file. So you can see right now we're getting 400 KB a sec, so not a great speed, but I'm not using any download accelerator. So let's cancel this and then open it up in my download accelerator. So the way this accelerator works is it actually opens multiple connections. So you can see here we've got three different threads and our speed is now 1.5 megabytes per second, so much faster. Let's try add another thread. And then let's add one more. So you can see we're now hitting around 2.3 megabytes per second or higher. So still a really good download speed. Now downloading files is a little bit boring. So let's actually try go to YouTube and see if we can play some videos. Now I've opened one of my own videos because I don't want to get a copyright strike by recording someone else's video. So what are we at at the moment? We're at full 1080p, 50 frames per second. So that's a pretty hefty video. And you can see it's already buffered a bit ahead. Let's try jump through and see how long it takes to load. Wow, that's fast. Let's jump through again. Oops. Wow, that's pretty fast. That's impressive. Yeah, that, that's really pretty impressive. That's streaming a 1080p, 50 frames per second YouTube video, and it's opening it like it's, you know, a 360 video. That's really impressive. Now, I went a little bit crazy with my downloads, and I hit 36.5 gigabytes, because I wanted to test how much I can actually download in that four hour period. Now, that is an incredible amount of data. It's absolutely insane. But the thing is, you can only get that kind of data if you use that specific plan between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m because obviously that's when they don't have many people using their network, so they're willing to remove data caps. So if you need to download a lot of data, paying 20 peso and getting four hours of unlimited LTE between those hours is a really good deal. But for the rest of the day, I don't really think there's any benefit of having LTE over 3G. Yes, it's faster, but does it really matter? Because if you actually use it to watch videos or to download files or anything, you're gonna hit your data cap very fast because the largest data allocation on prepaid is 800 meg per day. 
whether you're LTE or 3G. So you probably won't be using this to watch videos and download files anyway. So if all you're doing is loading websites, sending emails, checking Twitter and so on, does it matter if you have LTE or 3G? I don't think so. So is LTE absolutely amazeballs? Yes, it is. Of course, it does depend on your area and signal and so on. But what I got in my experience was absolutely amazing, blazing fast speeds. But do I think it's worth buying LTE? Mm, not really. Not unless you're going to make use of those hours between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. and really do heavy downloading. Otherwise, you might as well just go 3G. If you have any comments or you have any suggestions, just put them in the comment section down below because I know a lot of people on Globe and Smart, they come up with these tricks where you text this number, then you text that number, then you change this code, change that code, and there are all these kind of tricks to get like free internet or extended internet. So yeah, just put comments down below and let's just discuss this. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.